to God the Father, let us sing. To God the Son, the risen King. Alleluia, alleluia. And equally let us adore the Holy Spirit evermore. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say... I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of of the mother of your son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in hearts and ears. You always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You receive the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God. And Jesus, standing at the right hand of God, and Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the sons of man and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. But they threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock 
and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servants. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Please stand then. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was Joseph's intention when Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. Mary will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Kung hindi nyo na po itatanong, ang misa po natin ngayon ay misa in celebration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, in commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Sapagkat tayo ay nasa loob pa rin ng ating mga novena masses. Kaya nga ang ating ibanghelyo sa araw na ito is somehow related to the celebration of the Blessed Virgin Mary. At sa ating ibanghelyo, narinig natin na si San Jose ay nanaginip. Siya ay nanaginip. Kung pag-uusapan natin ang panaginip, ito ay normal na nararanasan nating lahat. Kapag tayo na natutulog, tayo ay nananaginip. Minsan, naaalala natin yung mga panaginip natin. Parang klarong-klaro na sa atin ano, kung ano yung mga panaginip. Minsan, hindi rin. Nakakalimutan din natin agad. Minsan nga, hindi natin alam na, na naginip pala tayo. Pero ito yung normal course ng tao. Ngunit alam natin na kapag sinabing panaginip, hindi lamang ito yung pangyayari habang tayo ay natutulog. Na sapagkat meron tayong mga panaginip habang tayo ay gising. Ito yung tinatawag nating mga pangarap. Ito yung mga tinatawag nating gusto nating marating. Diba? Ito yung mga panaginip natin. At alam ko, lahat tayo ngayon merong panaginip. Merong panaginip na gustong marating. Ano-ano po ba mga panaginip natin ngayon? Ano-ano po ba yung mga gusto nating marating? Ano-ano po ba yung mga pangarap natin? Ako po, isa sa pangarap ko talaga ngayon, On a personal note, gusto kong makauwi sa amin. Ang tagal ko na pong hindi nakauwi. 
sobrang namimiss ko ng aking pamilya, ang aking mama at aking papa at aking mga kapatid. At gustong gusto ko na rin makita ang aking mga pamangkin. Kaya isa yan sa gustong gusto kong matupad na panaginip ngayon. On a personal note, meron din mga panaginip na pangkalahatan. Isa dyan yung sana tunay na maangkin na talaga natin yung West Philippine Sea. Uh, ba diba? Yan yung battle cry natin ngayon. Sana makuha natin talaga. Maangkin na talaga natin, hindi inaagaw sa atin. At syempre, yung very, very evident at klarong-klaro sa ating lahat na panaginip nating lahat. Sana magbalik na sa normal lang lahat. Na sana mawala na ang virus na ito. Mawala na ang COVID na ito. Yan yung mga isa sa mga panaginip ko. At malamang some of you share with that dreams. And I know, iba-iba ang mga panaginip natin sa buhay. Minsan siguro yung iba na nanaginip o nangangarap na sana yumaman. O sana maging successful ang business. Meron din mga nananaginip na sana maging na matagpuan na yung love of his or her life. O, di ba? Nananaginip o nangangarap ng pag-ibig. Malahil isa yan sa mga pinapangarap natin ngayon. Ngunit mga kapatid, sa mga panaginip na ito, isa lang ang minumungkahi ko. O, sa madaming panaginip natin, sana yung mga panaginip na ito, kaisa din sa panaginip ng Diyos para sa atin nawa ang mga panaginip natin is, are in line with the dream of God for us, yung pangarap ng Diyos para sa atin. Bakit ko nasabi yon? Kasi sa Ebanghelyo natin sa araw na ito, nakita natin yung dalawang karakter, si Joseph at si Mary. At sigurado akong meron silang mga panaginip sa buhay. Meron silang mga pangarap sa buhay. Ang pangarap si Gulo ni Mary, magkaroon na nung, ng normal na pamilya. Magkaroon ng mabuti at mabait na asawa. Magkaroon ng malusog at matalinong anak. Ganon siguro yung mga pangarap niya. Si, si San Jose, ganon din siguro. Na sana maging expert siya sa kanyang pagtatrabaho. Nang sa gayon, maitaguyod niya ng maayos yung kanyang pamilya. Ganon siguro yung mga pangarap niya. No? Ganon siguro yung mga panaginip niya. Ngunit alam natin, na iilan sa mga panaginip na yon ay kailangang bitawan ni San Jose at ni Maria para saan? Para makiisa sila sa panaginip ng Diyos, sa pangarap ng Diyos. Kaya nga ang ganda ng kwento natin sa araw na ito, no? sa ating Ebanghelyo, si San Jose ay nanaginip, na panaginipan niya yung anghel. Kinausap siya, natanggapin si Maria bilang asawa at ang kanyang anak na siyang magliligtas sa sanlibutan. At anong ginawa ni San Jose? Di ba nakiisa siya sa panaginip na yon? Ang panaginip na yon na nagre-representa sa panaginip ng Diyos para sa ating lahat. Ano ba yung panaginip ng Diyos? Ano ba yung pangarap ng Diyos para sa ating lahat? Ang Emmanuel, ang God is with us, ang ating kaligtasan. Yun ang pangarap ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa atin. Doon nakikiisa si Maria at si San Jose. Kaya nga kahit na masakit sa kanila, nabitawan yung kanila mga pangarap, sila naman ay nagdiriwang din. Kasi tunay na nakikiisa sila sa pangarap ng Diyos para sa ating lahat, para sa kaligtasan. Kaya nga kahit nakakatakot na maging ina ng Diyos, ano, si Maria, na nagbuntis, na wala pang asawa, Sobrang nakakatakot yun sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo o sa panahon ni Maria. Kasi sa panahon na yon, kung ikaw ay nal, napag-alamang pag dadalang tao na walang asawa, out of wedlock, o pag, kapag na, napag-alamang ikaw ay nag-commit ng adultery, ang punishment don kamatayan. Dinadala sa plaza ang babae at binabato hanggang mamatay. That was the threat to the life of Mary in accepting being the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. At hindi lamang yun, ano? Nung nalaman ni, ni Herod na merong papalit sa kanya, o oh, di ba, nanganib din yung buhay nila. Ito yung mga pagkakataong binitawan nila Maria at ni San Jose, yung kanilang mga sariling pangarap. Para saan? Para makiisa 
sa panaginip ng Diyos. At dahil doon, tayong lahat ay nagdiriwang. Tayong lahat ay naging masaya. Tayong lahat ay nakaramdam ng pag-ibig ng Diyos dahil sa sila ay nakiisa sa panaginip ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya nga, sa mga panaginip natin, sana nakikiisa din tayo sa panaginip ng Diyos. When we identify, ano ba yung mga panaginip ko? Gusto kong yumaman, gusto kong magkaroon ng posisyon sa lipunan, gusto kong sumikat, maganda ang mga panaginip na yan. Gusto kong makapagtapos ng pag-aaral, maganda ang mga panaginip na yan. Ngunit magandang tanongin din natin kung ang mga panaginip na ito ay nakikiisa din ba sa pangarap ng Diyos para sa atin? Ang mga panaginip na ito ba ang magdadala sa atin, sa ating kaligtasan? Ang mga panangarap at panaginip ba na ito ang magdadala sa mga taong nasa paligid natin? Halimbawa na lamang ng mga pamilya natin sa kanilang kaligtasan. Sana ang mga panaginip natin ay laging kaisa sa panaginip ng Diyos. Ang panaginip na tunay na magbibigay ng kasiyahan sa atin, tunay na magbibigay buhay sa ating lahat. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. Even to Mary, life was no simple task, but she had faith in God and so she could remain full of courage in all circumstances. Let us do pray with faith to God who loves us and let us say, Lord, make our faith grow. Lord, make our faith grow. For a courageous and loyal faith which the Church needs in the confusing circumstances of these times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For resolute strength and perseverance, for all those who commit themselves to give peace to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the many whose faith is tested by adversity and suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the many young people who are disappointed by the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the sick and the handicapped, for those dying this very hour, for dead people dear to us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions, and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. God, you are good, and you want to make all people happy. But when we are solely, sorely tested, it is difficult to have faith. With the help of Mary, we ask you for much faith, for joy and courage for ourselves and for others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, humble spirit and contrite heart, and be accepted of you, Lord, and may I Please, all stand. 
Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you, and grant that, enlightened by the Holy Spirit and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grants us peace. Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Pusi Sanginis Christi, custodiat me, hindi kami tayo na may the body and blood of Christ, bless you. Please all stand. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we, 
who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray the Oracho Imperata for the Archdiocese of Lingay and the Gupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingay and the Gupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer in Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest's sons as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po yung magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic minister, at sa inyong lahat po na nakisa sa misang ito, maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at nawabaw ninyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.